Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double. I have been sick as heck for the past couple of weeks, and I appreciate you waiting around for the video about hooking up the Mvave Chocolat to the Boss GX100. I have it at my feet, but what we're going to do is look at the software, and we're going to look at what it takes to make sure that you have the Mvave Chocolate doing the right things when you hit these buttons in order for the Boss GX100 to recognize it. So let's go over what I've done in order to make this kind of happen for myself. I mentioned it in the Timu video. I'll leave a link to that up there. That was a fun video. Thanks again, Sean over at Scar My Guitar for referring me to Timu and all those great products. The Mbave chocolate is available through the link there. If you click on it, you get coupons and all that kind of stuff that I have in that link. And this is a great little device now I believe that the one that I bought did not come with a wireless dongle. You're going to want to actually buy the package that has this and the wireless dongle along with it. Uh, I know I'm using particularly the Guitaria one. There are some dongles that will connect to this, and then you will connect them to the in and the out of the MIDI of the Boss GX100. That's how I currently have it set up. I have the dongle on the GX100 off, and I have my phone currently connected to the Mbave Chocolate, and we'll show you real quick what you got to do in order to make this happen. You can see I have a solid blue light here. When you first turn on the chocolate, it will blink. You can see I've lost connection to it. It will blink, and you will want to go over and pair it in your Bluetooth settings. Since I've already done so, it's paired right off the bat. So we won't really even have to select anything at that point. We will want to make sure that we have downloaded the latest version of Mvave's Cube Suite. And that's what we're looking at right now. So now you can see, now that I have Bluetooth connected to my phone here in the app, it can see the foot control. And if I select that, you can see I have some choices. So if it doesn't show up, you can hit scan nearby devices. Uh, the voices. What we're going to do is go down here to this menu. You'll probably have it pull up to program change A right off the bat. We're going to come down here to the second to last choice, advanced custom mode. And that's going to allow us to assign these A, B, C, D buttons, as well as the expression pedal that you can use with the Mbave Chocolat or an expression pedal. I keep calling it the Chocolat, like it's El Francais or some Jean. So this will go Bluetooth, which is how I'm using it, but you can do quarter inch TRS to MIDI and, and run it in the same way. We're gonna just go ahead and go through all the Bluetooth stuff because that's, that's the fun way to do it, right? So we're gonna select advanced custom mode for this. And now A, B, C, and D are gonna correspond to these down here, I have these little cappers on here, but you can see underneath there's an A, B, C, and D on each one of these from left to right. So A will be the very first one. And what we're going to want to do up here at the top where it says mode, I have mode single step switch between two banks. So that's allowing us to have a little more flexibility when controlling the GX100. We're going to have the ability to turn something on as well as off. If we had single step, single bank of information, that first choice, that would only allow us one state. So I'm going to go ahead and select mode, single step, switch between two banks. So the A bank will be represented and the B bank will be represented. Now I currently have my Boss GX100 set to receive on channel one, and that's your first option here. You can make this any one of the channels that are available, one through 16. So I have it set to channel one, and what we're gonna do is select CC, okay? And what we'll do for A is go ahead and make this number one. You can make it any one of the numbers if you're pretty MIDI-centric, but how I'm going to do this and make it real easy to remember is I'm going to have A, B, C, and D be 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then the expression pedal will be number 5. I guess it just makes sense in my mind to think of it going left to right. So we're going to be looking at number 1 under data 1 and then 0 
under data two, and then we can go back, and we're going to look now at B bank. Okay, and we want that. I've already set this up. That's going to also say data number one because we're still looking at the A button or data send number one. And now we want the opposite end of that spectrum, not zero, but 127. So we're looking at either an on or an off state. Okay, and then we'll hit save there. And now we can go back and forth between these and see that that's how that is set up. And and we'll make data to zero, and they'll all be under control changes. So we're sending a change in control information to the GX100, because at the moment, the way that I'm setting this up is to turn effects on or off, or even activate the looper, the different functions within the looper, all from just this dedicated switch here okay so what we're still just at the point of setting this up we haven't even gone into the gx100 software yet so i have button a in the a and the b banks as number one for data and a bank zero b bank 127 the same thing b will be two zero 127 c will be three D will be four. So now we can touch this expression pedal. So like I said, this is only going to be available if you're using this wirelessly and not wiring in the TRS to MIDI to the GX100. I'm going to take an expression pedal and plug it in here. I want that command to be number five when it comes in. Now that I have CC5 assigned here to the pedal input, uh, I had to take it open and just make sure that I had everything kind of set up the right way. This is a Dunlop one. I had to crank that little guy all the way counterclockwise. Obviously, my top switch is over to the right for expression, and it's over to the left on the bottom switch there for tip. And now as I move the expression pedal, CC5 is sending. I actually had to make the loose value 127 and the step-on value one, um, I guess that's probably why I have I, I, why I had to tweak the internal all the way over. Loose value 127, step on value one. You can do it the other way depending on how your expression pedal is reading. You might have loose value of one and step on value of 127 depending on how you want your heel versus toe action to react. So we can now disconnect from our phone when it comes to the app, I'm gonna go ahead and just close it, swipe it out, and I'm even going to, for right now, just in case I need to make any changes, I'm not gonna disconnect my phone from the chocolate. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and turn Bluetooth off. That'll allow me now to be in a blue blinking state. And then this is what your wireless dongle is gonna look like. Pretty much as soon as I turn this on, when this isn't connected to anything else, it will pair right up. And like I said, this isn't even the same brand. This is a completely different brand. This is the Guitaria one. The little guy is going to go to my in. The big guy is going to my out. To give you an idea that of how I have this set up right now, I have that button. Turning on my compressor, you can see it's turning on that little purplish blue light there. This one is going to allow me to bring in my shimmer reverb. And what's this one doing? Oh, that's turning on a phaser at the moment. So how do we set this all up? I'm going to assume that you've watched my videos on the GX100 to the point where you know how to go into the control expression settings. But basically you can do this on the front panel of the GX100 or you can do it here in the software like I'm doing right now. We can do this in a number of different ways. We can make them system preferences. If this is something we want to happen on every single one of our patches and we don't want to have to manipulate our assigns within each patch, we just want to make a couple of these buttons do specific things, such as make your page up and down be dedicated to either this or that. You know, if you were using the bank up and down for other things, now you have bank up and down again. 
let's say you want to use this the way that I'm doing it right now to turn a few effects on and off and then use the expression control here. If we go to assign settings and go to my number one assignment, you can see it's lit up blue. So blue light means that this is an active assignment. My first assignment right here is overdrive on or off with CC number two. So what that means is when I hit CC number two, my overdrive is going to be active just like that. And you can see the light light up there in, in such a way to represent that. So we go to our control expression settings and how do I have that set up? Blue means that it's active and I have target minimum off because currently it's not on when I have the patch pulled up and then target max on. So I'm turning it from an off to an on state. And I don't want that to be momentary, but so if I select toggle within the assign, it's going to actually mean that I have to hit it twice. Translating between the MVAVE to the boss, even if we want something momentary, because of the way that I've set this up to be one or the other state, of one patch or in other words one midi command is saying be on when i touch it again it's sending another midi command to be off so because of that it's just looking for a momentary input so as soon as i let go of it it's telling it to either turn on or off if i had it on toggle as you can see i'd have to touch it twice each time so that's an easy way to turn an effect on or off as you can see Command number one is turning my compressor on and off. So again, we can go into here and make these be almost anything, anything we want. Right now I have current number under, pro, under assign number two. My current number is the source. I can pull up the source. That means what I'm hitting in order to send a command. I'm trying to make CC number two which is the second button, do some stuff. So right now I have it set to turn on an overdrive. I can also make it turn on the solo switch for my preamp, in this case, preamp number one. And I'm going to want to, like I said, make that momentary as well, or I'm going to have to do that twice. So now we can see when I hit CC number two or the B button in a it's going to read it as a momentary, but it's actually going to allow me to toggle overdrive on and off, as you can see with the yellow, and then my solo switch right here is being turned on and off. So even though we've set the MBOV up to be like two states for each button, that doesn't mean that we can only do like two things, turn one thing on and one thing off. We can turn several things on and off as long as we are using that proper MIDI CC number, right? So PC is going to mean program change. So that would be a whole nother, a whole nother set of commands and a whole different way to set this up. I can run over that if you would like. Please leave the comment below PC change just PC change, please, or something like that, and I'll make that video. But right, right now we're talking about command changes, and we'll look at how to use the expression pedal into here and how to set that up real quick because, for example, the way that I have it set up right now is that I'm going to uh, use... What am I using? I'm using this button to turn on my reverb, my shimmer reverb, and what I then can do is use an expression pedal to control the level of that. Since we already know we have this pedal input set up to be CC number five, we'll see how we can do that real quick. Over here in number 20, if, you, if I edit that, I have shimmer reverb, effect level, and we can now make this, I can make this, uh, you know, something a little bit different. And my source, or what's telling the GX100 to change the shimmer reverb effect level, is CC number five, which we've set up here. Close that, and you can see as I go through here now, 
when I have the effect off, it won't matter what the effect level is, but when I turn it on, I'll be able to automatically have a default to about 18. I think my pedal still needs a little more calibrating, but between 18 and 80. So like I said, I had to go in here and kind of just tweak this until it was reading right, but that's where my settings are. This all the way clockwise for the Dunlop Mini X volume and uh, top to the right, bottom to the left as far as the switches go. And that's a nice little setup. You can have it do almost anything. You know, if you have uh, the desire to make this work with the looper, I did go through all of the settings in order to get three buttons on a looper. And then you could even have this become the loop level. And that would give you a lot of control over your loop. If you want to see that setup, leave that comment below. If you'd like to see some patch change or how you go through program changes, not just CC changes with the GX100 and the chocolate here, leave that comment below, either PC or loop. And if I get enough comments about that, I'll make a video just like I did for this one. Hey, I hope this has helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a little bit more of this chocolate being used with the GX100, either with the three button loop and then volume stuff or as program changes. All right. Hey, I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. And check out the chocolate and use that Timu app. Check out that video and use the link if you want to save a little bit of money on buying one of these things. All right. I'll see you next time on Double D Guitar. All right. Yeah.